In this video, Codest International describes the construction method mainly of the structural part of the multifunctional high-rise complex Ahmad Tower. Codest International, as a fully controlled company by Rizani de Ecker, starts its activity as general contractor in the former USSR in 1984. Since 1996, Codest International strengthens its presence in Russia and starts cooperating with the most important Russian and Western private developers, mainly in the administrative and office sector. Codest's activity is essentially focused on the construction of important office, residential and hotel buildings. Codest International is seen as one of the major contractors in the CIS for managing and implementing complex high-quality projects. In 2012, Bank VTB awards Codest with the design and build project for the construction of the commercial and residential real estate, 13 buildings, on Leningradsky shoes, and in 2014, the design and build project for the new adjacent football Dynamo Stadium for a total cumulative value of over 1,000 million euros. Rizieni de Ecker, Codest's mother company, has also constructed the Intesa San Paolo headquarters in Italy. The tower, designed by the famous Italian architect Renzo Piano, has six underground levels and an above-ground structure of a height of over 160 meters for an overall built area of about 107,500 square meters. The project area, located in Grozny's Leninsky district, is bordered by the Suncha River on the one side and by the Kadirova Street and the Proletarskaya Road on the other sides. The Ahmad Tower project will consist of a 435 meter high building with 102 levels above ground and an underground level for parking. The tower will accommodate offices, hotel, service apartments, an observatory and exhibit space as well as residential levels and services for a total built up area of approximately 260,000 square meters. The site circulation is divided into four main vehicular access points. The observatory entry to the northeast of the site, the hotel entry to the east of the site, the office entry to the south, and the residential entry to the west. The west side of the site also accommodates a cooling tower. The works start with the site preparation area, road construction and installation of site facilities. The earthwork activities will start from the tower area and then extend to the stylobate area. After completion of the excavation, the cut-off of the pile heads, the waterproofing installation, the placement of the formworks and the reinforcement of the tar foundation slab, we will proceed with the concrete pouring activities using two batching plants, two stationary pumps directly connected under them, which pump the concrete through two 125mm diameter conveying ducts onto two truck-mounted pumps, which ultimately pour the concrete of the slab. The direct connection is a guarantee of better performance for this difficult operation of large pouring, avoiding the problems of concrete mixer traffic, recovering the dead times for the loading and unloading operations and thus matching the production of the batching plants. After the completion of the foundation, the tower crane will be installed and the erection of the tower can start. For the lower levels, approximately until level 11, a crawler crane will support the tower crane for the steel column erection. The first activity to be performed is the erection of the columns of 8 meters, which is the height of two tower floors. When the welding procedure of each column is completed, the pouring of the columns will follow. 
This casting activity will involve all the columns up to level 39. The columns and the slab spurring activities at the different levels will be handled through a system consisting of a concrete pump and distributor with telescopic arm, capable to reach the top of the 8 meter high columns. After the completion of the pouring, the first steel slab level is installed, starting from the steel beam erection and proceeding with the placing of the corrugated metal deck. Once the first steel slab level is completed, the installation of the second will follow, following the same procedure as the previous one. These activities are repeated for the next level of column until the completion of at least four levels. At this stage, it is possible to proceed with the placement of the reinforcement steel over the corrugated metal deck and the subsequent pouring of the slab of the first level. For the cast in situ concrete slab over the corrugated metal deck, it is foreseen to place a trailer mounted pump at the base of the tower to be fed by truck mixers. The concrete will be sent up to each level through 125mm diameter steel pipes suitable to absorb the stress of pressure and temperatures at the various levels. The steel pipes will be positioned in the future lift shafts and fixed to the steel structure of the tower. Two parallel pipelines with various bypasses will be installed. This configuration allows continuous casting activities even in the event of clogging or other problems in one line and guarantees great reliability. The previous phases are repeated for the tower erection of the subsequent levels. The installation of the façade can proceed, leaving one level of distance with the casting completed level. For the façade, the panels will be delivered to the unloading platform by crane and moved to the floor level until the correct installation position is obtained using a small mobile crane positioned at the relative level. Finishing and fit-out works, MEP works and concrete blocks can now proceed after two levels of façade have been completed. When the tower erection has reached an appropriate level, the stylobate foundations can start in several areas. Once completed, the erection of the stylobate structure will follow simultaneously with the tower structure. The last stylobate section occupied by the external tower crane will be completed after the dismantling of the tower crane. The last activity to be completed will be the landscaping of the area. To execute this ambitious project, Codest International presents a bid backed by a sound track record, ability and wide-ranging experience of the company in similar works. Codest International has made a well-studied analysis of the project requirements in order to ensure the successful execution of the works.